Russ on the Savage Nation, welcome. Hello, Dad. How are you? It's awful. How do you today. feel today? I, on my on the line is is Russ Savage, son of Michael Savage, a different generation with a different perspective. How do how do you see this? Well, I'll tell you right now. When I ran for California State Assembly three years ago, at the end of my campaign, after I lost, I won the pr primary, then lost the general election in a liberal area. I wrote a poem, and it basically went like this: is that liberals will lay in the sun until they get skin cancer. They'll eat fatty foods until they'll have a heart attack. They'll drink till they have liver cancer. And they'll vote liberal until the country is gone. People don't react until it's too late. That's human nature, and that's the liberal nature. It's a tragedy, but it, we knew it was coming. The conservative movement always knew this day was going to come, but we prayed it wouldn't come this fast. That's the reality of this. We all knew it was going to happen. We just prayed it well, wouldn't what, happen. What, what, is it, what is it that you would do as a young man? You've not fought in a war. You weren't in Pearl Harbor. Neither was I. What would you do today? Well, I did. I thought about going out on the sides of the freeways and holding up an American flag and just doing anything I could do. I know what we all want to do, but we can't do that. Everyone has emotions of, of hate and anger right now. Now, you have, a, you have a friend who works for a major financial brokerage. Tell us about that, will you, Russ? Morgan Stanley had, I think, 50 floors of one of the buildings. Everyone in there is gone. And Merrill Lynch, I think, occupied 50 to a, some other crazy amount of floors in another building. Where? In the World Trade Center? They, they were in that building 50 floors? Each, at least. And they're both gone off the earth. And now how do you rebuild something when there could have been trillions of dollars of money we don't even know about and records? And it's, it's unfathomable how deep this really gets. But instead of focusing on this, we've got to talk about what people should do right now to stick together. I think immediately everyone should have a contact of at least 200 people that they can call and set an emergency meeting place in their local area in case things get bad. We don't know what could happen. There could be bombs in every city waiting to go off. We have no idea, truthfully. No one wants to talk about that reality. But the, the truth is, is there could be 50 bombs, there could be anthrax waiting to be dropped in rivers. We don't know what could go on. And if anyone thinks you're nuts for even thinking about this, then tell them to go to hell. But you have to talk to the people that have any brains on their shoulders, which is one-third of the country, and, and get a network together of all your close friends and people you can trust that can talk and be ready in case things go down, because it could go down really badly, and it could happen. And you raise moment. a very, very important point, Russ. We have been trying to stop the, uh, the flood of illegals into this country. We know that many of the terrorists came in through Mexico and through Canada. We've been screaming about it for six years on the radio. We've been called racist. We've been called every name under the sun. We were right all along, Russ. You the need problem, is, the problem is that the leadership, the leadership never, ever accepted what I was saying. Never. The conservatives that listen to you need to tell their liberal friends they caused this problem with their stupidity and their foolishness and trusting everyone like they're a stupid five-year-old, that everyone is fair and nice in the world. Idiots. They're nothing short of fools. And from now on, if you ever hear someone talk up openly the wrong way about America, they either be, I, I can't tell you what should happen to these people, but they should be ridiculed in public and told them, you don't forget what happened this day in America. That's what it has yes, to be. Yes, it's a time for us to come together as Americans. We have to. And it will be one Borders, people. language, culture. Borders, Borders language, language culture. culture. Borders, language, Borders, culture. language, culture. I've been trying to warn the people that we are a nation. Perhaps we will still come together as a nation. God bless America. God bless you, Russ. I will see you after the show. Keep up the fight, Michael. We all count on you every day. On